Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series on the lives of the saints. And on this, the 27th of February, we celebrate the memory of our Holy Father Raphael Bishop of Brooklyn. Our Holy Father Raphael was born of pious parents in Syria in 1860. His mother, Miriam, was a priest's daughter from Damascus. When their parish priest, St. Joseph of Damascus, was martyred, Raphael's father, Michael Halloweeny, took refuge with his family in Beirut. On their return to Damascus, Raphael showed great aptitude for studies, and in the course of time, he was recommended to Patrick Herotheus of Antioch as a candidate for the priesthood. He was tonsured a monk by the patriarch in 1879, and taken into his personal service. As the seminary of Balamand had been closed since 1840, the Patriarch of Constantinople offered a scholarship for a Syrian student, and St. Raphael was chosen to complete his studies at the Faculty of Theology at Halki. He was ordained deacon there in 1885, and he returned home in the following year with the Certificate in Theology, Gerasimus, the new patriarch of Antioch, took him with him on his personal visitations, and he let him preach to the people of God when he lacked time to do so himself. Eager to deepen his knowledge, the better to serve the Holy Church, Raphael was sent for higher studies to the Theological Academy of Kiev. Ordained priest and raised to the rank of Archimandrite by Metropolitan Ioannikus of Moscow, he was put in charge of the Patriarch of Patriarchate of Antioch's church in the Russian capital. He succeeded in much reducing the debt, and he obtained scholarships for 24 Syrian students. When the Patriarch Gerasimus was translated to Jerusalem, St. Raphael contended for an Arabic-speaking hierarch to replace him, and he was highly critical of the appointment of Patriarch Spiridon, a Cypriot, as his successor. When he was suspended from his priestly functions, he continued to write in favor of the Arabization of the See of Antioch, first in Russian periodicals, then in books. In the end, he was reconciled with the patriarch, apologized, and was restored to the ministry. He transferred to the jurisdiction of the Patriarchate of Moscow and was appointed Professor of Arabic Studies at the Theological Academy of Kazan. In 1895, he left for the United States at the invitation of the Benevolent Society of Syrian Orthodox of New York in order to take charge of the Arab Orthodox community in the city, which was without a priest and a place of worship. Within two weeks of his arrival, he set up and blessed a small chapel dedicated to St. Nicholas in a poor part of Lower Manhattan. He gave himself without calculation in preaching and in the celebration of the divine services for his parishioners. But he also had a concern for the many Arab Christian immigrants scattered across North America, who, for want of a pastor, were in danger of being absorbed by the heterodox or even of abandoning all religious life. When He was well aware of how greatly the teachings of the heterotalk diverged from the doctrine transmitted by the holy tradition, the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. He went in search of his lost and scattered sheep. Wherever he found Arab Christians, he would nourish them with the word of God, celebrate marriages and baptisms, receive their confessions and serve the divine liturgy in private houses, where no Orthodox Church was to be found. In 1898, he published the first Orthodox prayer book in Arabic to appear in the New World, and which would prove to be a pre- be precious for the clergy as for the private use of the faithful. In 1898, after his second pastoral journey, he was informed. He informed Bishop Nicholas, who led the Patriarchate of Moscow's mission of the necessity of providing Arabic-speaking priests for the church that he had founded, and the bishop 
encouraged him to send to Syria for qualified clergy. In the spring of 1899, Raphael started upon a seventh-month journey which took him through 43 cities. He celebrated services and sacraments for all the scattered Orthodox, whether Greek, Russian, or Arab. For the first time, they all depended on a Russian mission, and he brought peace and harmony to all the communities that he visited. Although strict towards himself, to the faithful approaching him as a representative of Christ and laying their difficulties before him, he was always benevolent, merciful, and full of love. After the election of Patriarch Miletius to the See of Antioch, the first Arab to be elected primate for 168 years, there were several proposals to elect Archimandrite Raphael to a see in Syria. The Metropolitan of Beirut wanted St. Raphael as his assistant bishop, but he refused on the grounds that he could not abandon his flock in the United States. In 1901, he was elected Bishop of Zala, but he re reiterated his refusal to return to Syria inasmuch as he had not provided his faithful in New York with the church. Moreover, in the following year, he was able to buy an existing church building on Pacific Street in Brooklyn, which was remodeled for the Orthodox worship and consecrated by St. Tikon as the Cathedral of St. Nicholas. The growing number of American parishes and the impossibility of visiting them all regularly led St. Tikon to propose to the Holy Synod in Russia to transfer of his see from San Francisco to New York and the consecration of Father Raphael as an assistant bishop with care of the Arab communities. The, this proposal was accepted, and on the third Sunday of Lent, 1904, Archimandrite Raphael became Bishop of Brooklyn while retaining direction of the Syro-Arab missions in North America. He was the first Orthodox bishop to be consecrated on the territory of the United States. In the years that followed, he continued his pastoral labors with redoubled zeal, ordaining priests for the parishes that he had founded and assisting St. Tikon in the administration of his immense diocese. Early in 1905, he brought out the first number of the periodicals Al-Kalimat, the Word, as the official publication of the Arab mission with the aim of increasing communication among the scattered communities through the con continent and enabling the faithful to deepen their faith by contact with the Word of God in written form. He regarded this publication as a milestone of equal importance to the acquisition of St. Nicholas, Nicholas's Cathedral and the parish cemetery. In July of the same year, St. Raphael laid the foundation in Pennsylvania of the Monastery of St. Tikon and of the Orphan Orphanage of South Canaan. The Holy Pastor organized night schools in his growing New York community where the children would be able to receive an Orthodox education. He also saw clearly the importance of integrating his communities into American society while preserving their cultural and religious identity, and hence he recommended the use of all his parishes of the service book of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, a translation into English of the services and other rites and ceremonies of the church made by an American lady, Miss Isabel Hapgood, first published in 1906. When St. Tikhon returned to Russia, Archbishop Plato succeeded him, and St. Raphael's name was put forward to succeed Metropolitan Gregory in the See of Tripoli, upon later becoming the Patriarch of Alexandria. However, the Holy Synod of Antioch rejected his candidature, alleging the canonical prohibition of Episcopal transfers. In 1911, Archbishop Plato wanted to honor him for his 15-year pastoral ministry in the United States, but St. Raphael could not understand why and protested that he was merely an unworthy servant who had done no more than his duty. Towards the end of 1912, the valiant shepherd was found to be suffering from a heart disease, but that did not prevent him from undertaking pastoral journeys in the next two years. Worn out at last by his labors, he retired to his house at the beginning of 1915, and after two months of illness, patiently born, he found everlasting rest on the 27th of February. By the prayers of our Holy Father, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us.
God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message on social media, leave us a note in the comments section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.